Hey everybody, welcome back to my Project 13. Thanks for coming on by and checking out this video. I'm going to be doing a liquid screen protector installation from IQ Shield for my Sony Xperia XZ2 Premium. In the box you get a squeegee, a micro cloth, both sporting the brand name IQ Shield, a thank you note from IQ Shield for your purchase, and a step-by-step -step guide on how to go through the installation process. If you've never ever install the liquid screen protector, please read all the information that IQ Shield gives you. The step-by-step -step guide is going to help you a lot. Do not skip any of the steps. That's a disclaimer. First, I begin by removing the old film screen protector. Then I'm going to spray, wait, stop, pause. I almost screwed up right there. I got to wipe down my XZ2 premium display with the micro cloth that comes in the box. Got to wipe it down as best as I can. Then we can get to the spraying part of this process. I paused the video, grabbed this yellow place map. That way it would make it easier for you to see the installation process. I should have uh, done this at the beginning of the video. Black smartphone on top of a black cable. Probably hard to see. So hopefully it's easier to see what I'm doing. Spraying down my XE2 Premium, spraying down the liquid screen protector, and probably a good idea to spray the tips of your fingers as well. It's going to make it a lot easier to be able to adjust, move around the screen protector, get it into place where you want it. I tend to pick up my devices when doing this. It just makes it a lot easier for me to uh, readjust if I have to or if if I'm having to peel off the liquid screen protector once, twice, sometimes three or four times to get it to where I need it. And then we can get to the squeegeeing part of the installation. Everything looking pretty good so far. I'm pretty content on where I have the screen protector on my XZ2 Premium. That doesn't mean though that I may not readjust it again or even peel it off again. I've been known to do that two or three times. So now I begin the squeegee part of this process. Hey, there's my cat, Pedro. He wanted to say hello, but I don't need any cat hairs while installing a brand new liquid screen protector on my XZ2 Premium. I love that cat, man. He's 17 years old. He's an amazing cat. So yeah, you just want to continue squeegeeing out the excess liquid, being patient, taking your time, having some fun, have some music on, have some coffee or a soda or whatever, man. Uh, whatever uh, keeps you level-headed, keeps you uh, at peace of what you're doing so you can enjoy the moment. And now I bring in the blow dryer. This is another disclaimer you don't have to use it it's up to you i'm comfortable with the blow dryer but you may not be even though iq shield suggests that you use one with curved displays you don't necessarily have to it's just that the process of the liquid screen protector adhering to the display of your smartphone is going to take a little bit longer i have the heat set to medium, not high, not low, medium, and I'm constantly moving the blow dryer around. I'm constantly moving my XZ2 Premium around. Movement is another key word in this video. You cannot let your device sit in one spot with the blow dryer blowing hot air in onto one spot of your device. It's going to damage your device. It's going to damage your trim protector. So you got to be moving your device and the blow dryer around constantly. And throughout this process, Hopefully you've been watching that I'm massaging the screen protector onto my device with my fingertips and utilizing the micro cloth as well. Everything looking really sexy. Just check that out. It is suggested from a lot of these companies that provide liquid screen protectors that you do the installation towards the end of the evening before you're heading off to bed because you're going to see some bubbles on your screen protector. You want to let those bubbles work themselves out. Sometimes it takes up to two to three days. So be very patient. Don't get all bent out of shape. 
let the screen protector do its job. I personally would not suggest putting on a case right away. I did so for the video, but as soon as I was done shooting the video, I took the case right off. You really want to allow time for the screen protector to adhere to your display of your smartphone, allowing those bubbles to work themselves out, even though that could take up to two or three days. The next morning, gently putting on your case and watching for any kind of lifting. Disclaimer, not every case and screen protector work together, whether that's film, tempered glass, or liquid. So continue to watch for any lifting. If I run into any kind of negativity, I will update you. If you don't hear back from me, that means everything is good. Thanks for watching. Appreciate your time. God bless. Peace. I am out.